Hey you guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about taking life too seriously. And I know I've touched on this a couple of times over the years. I've been on YouTube now for I think almost nine years now. It's been a long time. And the world has changed. My country has changed a lot since then. Technology has changed a lot since then, so there's probably a lot of reasons for this, but I wanted to talk to you about taking life too seriously and making life great again. Yeah, I said it. This topic came to me a few weeks ago when I was talking about, I don't know, something stupid on Twitter. It was like not important. It was like a joke or something. I don't know. It wasn't mean, wasn't slanderous, wasn't anything, you know, big or anything to get in an uproar about. And somebody yeah. said to me, you're tweeting about this when there's this, this, and this going on in the world. And I'm not even gonna say what she was talking about because both sides do it. If we're talking politics or what's going on in the country, both sides do it. And you have to realize something. If you're gonna let things out of your control, things other people do or say, or anything like that, ruin your life to the point where you can't have a life outside of it, that's on you. Because there's nothing so bad going on. Many of us would say that the country is in a great direction right now. But for those of you who don't believe that, I'll go with it for a minute. There's nothing so bad that you can't change your perspective or your focus onto something good. There's literally always something to be grateful for. Always. And chances are, you hyper-focusing on what's not going well to the point where you can't even talk about something else is amplifying and making the situation worse than it actually is. And if we are going to talk about politics, chances are you're believing some lie. What is everything suddenly on the internet true? I don't know. But I just think we need to all take a deep breath, take a break once in a while, learn to laugh again, learn to relax deliberately find what brings you happiness and peace because chances are if you're going to be like this you're always going to let some outside thing from yourself dictate how you feel it's it's not just as simple as oh a tweet set you off or something somebody said set you off. Especially if it's a pattern in your life. If you're constantly on that edge and you know nobody else is doing anything, even though you might want to blame everybody else, you know nobody else is actually doing anything to you. Time to turn the computer off. Time to hang up the phone, shut the door, and look within you. And then learn to deliberately, because you clearly don't remember how, but learn to deliberately find joy again. Learn to deliberately laugh again. Learn to deliberately relax and not take things so seriously. It does take training. Why do you think there's so many 
meditations all over YouTube. It's because people need to learn how to do it. Most of the world doesn't meditate. I'm not saying I'm an expert at it, but I know that there's many forms and even just taking yourself out of a situation and breathing helps. And I'm not perfect. We all fly off the handle. We all get overwhelmed. We all let life get to us. But if it's literally to the point where you can't take a joke or can't take a break from what you're talking about, that is a real problem. And yeah, that's gonna ruin your life. It really is. It's gonna probably affect your health, both mentally and physically. And it's just not gonna be good. It's like the whole hot coal um, analogy. By you stewing about life, it's not gonna hurt nobody else. There's people out there to help you if you do need it. I'm not saying you can't do it yourself if you do the research, find the resources, but I would be more than happy to be a resource if you need it. And then I'll take this actually a step further. You have to be careful on social media when you say something about how you're feeling in a moment of rage or depression and then lashing out at somebody for wanting to help you. Like I get the whole scroll past it. I'm the biggest advocate for that. Like if I'm posting something on my page and I'm not going to your page to troll you, you could just scroll past it. If you know that you disagree and you disagree every time somebody posts something about that topic. But when you say that you're going through something and then a couple of days later somebody reaches out to help you, you're only fooling yourself when you say, oh no, I'm, I'm doing great. That's like one of those um, memes of somebody saying, oh, I'm doing great as they're crying into their food. And I'm not saying, you know, you've even come to terms with it. Maybe that moment of weakness of actually, I, I, okay, I take that back. That moment of strength of saying that you're going through something. Where your wall did come down, because that is strength. Maybe that moment was a little bit fleeting and you weren't ready to say anything but I just think it's really shitty to turn away people who are just looking out for you because of something that you said you were basically reaching out for help and then you're like no and in a nasty way if you want to say no thank you I'm fine just don't be nasty about it. And really, really look within. If you don't want the help, fine. Really look within and figure your shit out. Emotionally, mentally, you know. Because that will screw you up. And You need to probably get out of your own head at that point and relax like I've been saying and you know maybe laugh a little maybe laughing isn't 
in your immediate future because of where you're at, but you're just going to keep going over and over and over on the hamster wheel if you keep going that way. Pushing more and more people away that try to be like, so hey, if you ever need to talk. You know, so, wow, this video is a lot longer than I anticipated, <laughs> um, but I was due to make one, so it's okay. Um, thank you to everybody who's been subscribing. Uh, I'm seeing my subscriber list go up little by little. Uh, my next goal is obviously the 600, because we're within... Um, the 500s so if you would please subscribe please feel free to share this whether it's on your pages um, publicly or with a friend that you know who might be able to benefit from it I would really appreciate it and I'm sure as would they if uh, they're ready to receive any type of insight whether it's just watching this video or contacting me to work one-on-one -on -one. So thank you guys again, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.